But there's other things that happen around 16 years old also. And they're very personal in terms of family. It's around 16 years old when you're developmentally able to begin seeing your parents as human beings and realize that they're not perfect, that they're flawed. So rather than just be angry at them because they don't let you do what you want to do when you want to do it, there's also that realization of my parents aren't perfect. And that's a very scary realization to have. Some people it happens a little bit younger. And there's another realization. My parents aren't going to live forever. And therefore, I need to be able to survive on my own. I have to be able to know for myself that I can handle myself when my parents aren't here with me, either you know, literally when they're no longer living or just when I'm out there at university and I have to make decisions on my own and I can't be calling mom up or texting mom and asking for advice about this stuff. I've got to be able to do this stuff on my own. So there's this big push begins to happen. I've got to prove to myself that I can make it on my own in the world. And yet all these things happening around 15, 16, 17 years old, and instead of the system organizing itself, the larger system organizing, saying, OK, you're at that age. You need to figure out who you are. You need to figure out what you want in your life. You need to start figuring out the education you're going to need. You need to start learning these skills to be able to manage your way through a really complex world. Instead of doing that, what it does is it says A levels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Isn't this what happens? Yeah. The pressure is on you. You have to take these exams and you go to sixth form and you go to you know this this stuff.